Nice and relaxed. We're about to start a great new program called Healthy Shed. Let's see what's happening behind these doors. Alright, change sides, a left hill. Yeah, it started off with some exercise, we've done relaxation. We've had uh, experts come and tell us about uh, medications. Uh, it seems whatever topic there is, they have an expert come along and help us with it. It's been really great. Um, we went from boxing to quitting smoking and all sorts of things. So I, it's been very good. Got met you, different people that I've never seen, you know, met before, and it was really, really interesting. We all bonded with each other. It was really, really good. Participation in the program has been uh, really good. A few other people that we didn't expect be involved through uh, Wise Employment and a couple of other spin-offs from that. So uh, we've had some, I suppose, unintended consequences, which has been really good. I'm Kerry. I work at Wise Employment in the NDIS section. I'm a support worker. We've brought a lot of our guys down here for this program, which is an absolute fabulous program. It's shown them lots of different avenues they can take for health issues, eating, uh, for stress management. A lot of these guys, you know, don't have the avenues to be able to find places that they can access and we found it all here. The benefits have just been immense for, you know, life changing for some of these guys, which is great. Uh, we have, we've got to be barbecue running, get all, these, get all these nice games you guys are providing and all that. So I'd probably give the day a big 50 out of 50, I reckon, today. A Tasmanian men's shed is downing tools to focus on building health. A new program called Healthy Shed is aiming to get participants increasing their physical activity and improving their mental well-being. First I thought it was going to be something very serious, but it's, it's quite light-hearted, yet informing at the same time. I thought Healthy Shed was a very valuable um, opportunity for our community. For myself, I'm eating, eating better and exercising more regularly. The variety was fantastic. I think it kept, kept the program alive and kept um, the punters very, very you know, interested. And having all the different presenters, I think, is really helpful for the participants, given that they feel like they are getting expert information. They recognise them, so they're more likely to reach out to them outside of the session. I've learned how to relax a little bit more, and um, I think it's also helped me to be a bit more tired of other people. That wasn't actually one of our subjects, but it's just a, um, a bit of a consequence of it. Personally, it's been great. I've actually even accessed the, uh, the health centre in regards to taking a different participant who hasn't been coming to these sessions to see a social worker. It's sort of opened up that door. It's been really good to see that where people have been able to be referred to different groups and through people that have come here and really good good positive relationships through that. Uh, I don't even, can't even put it into words really. I've seen a significant change in the way that the participants handle stress in their own life, how they manage their health. Um, it's information that I haven't been able to gather in one sort of program before. So all the multifaceted issues and everything that's been covered has just been fantastic. Walking, running around, if I feel like if I'm sitting down in the lounge room for an hour or so, I'll, I'll get up and go for a walk or go do a bit of exercise, go and kick football with my young fellas and motivate it all the time. I realised that uh, some of my medications were having adverse reactions with others, um, so I had to change it. I uh, started working with the Health Shared as a fourth year exercise science student as part of my prac, helping them learn a better way or a healthier way that they can live and hopefully improve their circumstances through that, in that way, was really rewarding for me. UTAS did a survey with some men and they sort of suggested that this is something that they might need. We also had another program called MacPack and that worked really well and people asked for more of that and just general community chatter um, um, indicated that this would be something useful in the community. If this does happen again, we will definitely be part of it because it's just, as I said, it's invaluable for these guys you know, with their, their life. Uh, how I can send the message that the, the funding has been really important to actually bring these things out. And then the collaboration from other organisations as well has been a great thing.